Marie Kondo told me not to do these things and I did them anyway. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, I'm Kyla Denango and today we are talking all about tidying up, cleaning up, getting your life together. So today's book that we're talking about is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. The author of this book is Marie Kondo. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is cleanliness. I just made that up, let's see. The theme of the book is housekeeping home economics, okay? So if you're a little bit older like me, you remember taking a home ex class when you were in high school. We had to learn how to sew. We learned how to like make basic, basic recipes. Now, when I started reading this book, I was like, I wasn't ready. I started reading it and then I was like, I don't wanna get rid of my stuff. And I literally put the book down and stopped. I did because you're reading it and she goes through why she's so passionate about this how at five years old she started cleaning up and tidying up and she just thought it was fascinating i read this because austin cleon mentioned this in his book uh still like an artist and so i picked it up because whenever someone mentions a book in a book i pick it up and read it but that's an aside all right so let's get into the most important lesson number one don't talk about it okay you know how in fight club the number one rule of fight club is we don't talk about fight club Marie Kondo says, you're gonna start cleaning, you're gonna start organizing, you're gonna tell people and they're gonna say, but you love that shirt, but you look so good. Oh, don't toss that. So don't mention it. And then the rest of the evening, I'm like, dang, should I take that dress out? Man, I really should have kept that. No, don't tell people. <laughs> now, I live in this house with my husband and my daughter. So he saw me doing stuff and that was amazing. And that leads us into point two, which is, does it spark joy? The entire basis of this book is that you are keeping things that spark joy. When I come down here to record and I see these signs on the wall, it makes me happy. It sparks joy. It makes me want to be around. It makes me want to be in this room. That's the same way for your clothes. But the big thing what does it spark joy for me was that you can't toss other people's stuff. I live in this house with my husband and my toddler daughter. So my husband saw me going through my winter clothes, looking at things. Do I like this? Do I like that? I was tossing my daughter's clothes, which was really hard. She is three years old and we've been talking about having another one, but Kyla, are you gonna keep these clothes for six years until you have another baby? That's silly because we had mountains of clothes, all right? This is a clip of everything that we donated. It was literally 10 boxes of men's clothes, women's clothes, and baby clothes. So I needed to go through this stuff. So I'm going through it, I'm not touching my husband's stuff. And he's watching me and he's like, Oh, I'm never gonna wear those pants. Oh, I'm never gonna do, can you put this stuff in your pile with you, right? And Marie Kondo says that. She says you cannot toss other people's stuff, for one, because you don't know what sparks joy, and for two, they will see you and they will want to separate out their things and only keep things that spark joy for them when they're ready. Which backs up point number one, which is don't tell people what you're doing, just do it. And either they'll be motivating and encouraging or it doesn't matter because they don't know what you're doing. So the third most important thing that Marie Kondo says in this book, you have to do the steps in order, okay? Marie Kondo talks about going through your clothes first. And the first step of going through your clothes is getting all of them. We have clothes in the basement in tubs. We have clothes upstairs in our closet. I have clothes in my daughter's little dresser. And, and so Marie Kondo says, take the tags off your clothes. Let the clothes be welcome into your house. And I was like, Oh, because now you feel like they're inviting. When it's time to wear them, they're just ready. Love that. <laughs> As I'm tossing things to my daughter, I'm thanking the clothes, right? You learned that in the book. Thank you for providing comfort for my daughter. Thank you for keeping us warm. And there were some clothes that I, I did thank and I still gave away. And there were some things that I kept and we just put on teddy bears for my daughter. This was so important that you go in order because the clothes are usually gonna be the hardest thing for you to tackle because you have memories with your clothes. Go through paperwork and then you go through old receipts and then you go through instruction manuals you're not gonna look up the manual for how to use this camera. Kyla, you would just Google it. So why don't you toss it? Toss them, let go of the clutter. <laughs> and it is life-changing magic. It absolutely is. You see here, the book is not huge, okay? But I will tell you this, don't pick it up if you're not ready. This is not a book that you casually read and you're like, that was interesting. 
because the way that she writes is so it's so provoking it will make you get up and start looking at your stuff i understand the magic of this book because it, it was absolutely phenomenal and it will make you get up and get active all right so here's another video about being active being provoked which is all about radical confidence okay this book is all about what's it going to take for you to get up and get that thing done that you've always wanted to do including tidying up <laughs> okay so take a look at this video and i'll see you there